uh, with the loss at Santa Barbara did a, you know, was that kind of a wake-up call to uh, kind of your team and squad that, hey, we're in Big West and every game? I think it served its purpose to wake them up. I, they have been playing really well in, uh, in many games. This game was not their finest. Um, their opponent played very well, and some of that was us. Some of that, a lot of it was them. But uh, I felt like our performance was far below expectations and, and what we've seen on a day-to-day -day basis in practice. It was uh, a little bit of a shocker, but I certainly feel like our team responded well when we played Irvine. Yeah, I mean, is, is that kind of the silver lining where, where you know, again, they kind of got that reality check of the Big West, like, hey, we, even though we haven't lost in four or five years, however long it's been, that, you know, this is the real deal, every game counts? I do think that there was some nerves at play, as I uh, kind of convey with some of the, the different players on the team, trying to unearth what exactly happened in that game. And that seems to be the response that I'm getting is, well, I, had, I didn't feel right. You know, we traveled down the same day, which we've done for ever since I've been here. Um, we left a little bit early because of the rain. We thought we might hit some storms. And so I don't know if that took us out of a flow, but we definitely were not ourselves there. But uh, responding, I thought the call to defend and the call to rebound was heard loud and clear on Friday's practice. And we had a great performance in those areas against Irvine, and that led to a win. And if we will stay on that mission, we got a shot at competing with any team in the conference. Yeah, I, I don't remember the last time I've seen three home games in a row in conference. <laughs> Is that? It's been a while, huh? Yeah, it's been, yeah. been a while. Uh, I mean, is that is that a, is that do you, do you consider that to be a luxury? This, this three-game homestand. Well, we're thrilled to play any of our opponents. Like Anna said, I think that we have been surprised at how much talent our league has. It seemed like every team in our league went out and just put together an incredible preseason schedule. So many Pac-12 teams, uh, WCC teams, it loaded. Across the board, uh, I know Hawaii, in fact, had four games playing the top 15 teams in the country. You know, for us, we played four of the top teams, uh, I'd say, in the top 40. So, and two of those were in the top 10. So it's just, or sorry, top 20. So it's, uh, I think, everybody's job to try to prepare as best they can to face uh, rivals in our conference that are really, really talented. And uh, we did a great job with our preseason. It is a new season for us, and uh, hopefully we've got our jitters out of the way and can get down to business. Uh, what, is, what does Fullerton do well? They're very young. Uh, they run Princeton offense. They run a number of different uh, sets as well, but they do shoot the ball well. They pressure, and uh, that's something that we've had some challenges with as the season's progressed. And this week it's been press break, press break, press break, press break in practice. And the team has done certainly better today than they did yesterday. And we're hoping by the time we face our opponent on Saturday that we're really skilled in that area. Um, but they're a fine basketball club. They've had a nice, strong preseason uh, competition as well. And I think they're, um, they're learning as we are learning uh, about what our team is comprised of and what our strengths are. Um, so the team played really well against Irvine. Um, do you know like what the mindset or is there any specific accomplishments they're, accompli accomplishments they're looking to achieve um, going into the game against Florida on Saturday? I think kind of the same mindset. Do we, can we do a better job of taking care of the basketball? We've hovered around 17, 18, 19 turnovers, sometimes higher than that as the season's worn on. And our goal is to be under 15% turnovers. If we can be... Uh, if we can have more possessions that we at least get a shot attempt, we're not too bad of offensive rebounders. So in some ways, I'd rather come across half court, check up the shot, go try to get the offensive rebound rather than just give it to our opponent. Uh, so we're trying to improve in that area. And certainly our last game against Irvine, our rebounding and our defense were impressive. And I felt like we're major contributing factors to our success. And we had an incredible performance out of Gabby Grappalo in that game as well. So there was some good offense. Uh, to boot, but certainly a significant 18 rebounds from Hannah Gilbert. That's something any coach would be really pleased to have on their uh, squad, let alone uh, a junior on their squad. 
Um, can you just talk a little bit about Hannah? Hannah's just been growing in leaps and bounds. Uh, her performances, her her confidence is a big part of her performances. And as she had suggested, I think her ability to enjoy the game has led to her performance being better. Uh, certainly when she becomes self-conscious about her performance or mistakes that are made, then in the past that suffered uh, with her performance. So as her performance, a mistake made her performance decreased, and certainly now she's been able to battle any kind of mistakes that she makes on the court. She's been a tremendous rebounder for us, both offensively and defensively. Defensively, uh, she's come up with huge block shots for us. She's been great in rotations. She can move off of ball screens. She's so agile, she can really defend pretty much anywhere on the court. So she's just becoming a fabulous player, and I think somebody who is worthy of all conference um, attention um, and consideration for this year. Thank you. Mm -hmm.